temperature of our nutrient solution is important because it relates to oxygen content. If our water becomes too warm, the oxygen content goes down and that can allow disease propagation to increase considerably. The traditional recommended temperature for a nutrient solution is about 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Now this is applicable to flood and drain gardens, drain to waste gardens, top feed drip gardens. We do experiment with lower res temps in aeroponic gardens. Because root disease is such a deadly enemy in recirculating water gardens, and because the root disease breeds in an environment of low oxygen content, it's very important that we control our water temperature in all recirculating hydroponic gardens. It becomes crucial. So we will typically control water temperature by putting stainless steel coils in the reservoir and passing cold water through those coils controlled by a temperature sensitive thermostat and valve solenoid which is plugged into the temperature sensitive thermostat. The water is drained to waste. You could use it to irrigate your garden so that it's not wasted but there is a high flow of water to keep the water temp under control. Another way to control reservoir water temperature is with an aquarium chiller. Now some people will actually circulate their nutrient solution through the aquarium chiller. This is not recommended. The aquarium chiller typically has a coil in it which is made out of copper. Exposing your nutrient solution to that copper will eventually start to leach copper into the nutrient solution after about three months of use, which could result in plant death even. And you will find that the aquarium chiller builds up a lot of decaying plant material, uh, plant roots in there which can affect growth down the road. So if we want to use an aquarium chiller to cool our res, we have to create a closed loop with the stainless steel coil and circulate just water through that stainless steel coil with a pump, inline mag drive, right back to the chiller, just a loop, a cooling loop. That is the correct way to use an aquarium chiller. Now as I mentioned, in aeroponic gardens where the water is being delivered to the root zone as a very fine mist, we can get away with res temps as low as 55 degrees and this could be further useful in controlling root disease. So keep in mind reservoir temperature, nutrient solution temperature is a component in achieving maximum yield.